Night sky electrified with a glow of red, yellow, and green neon signs. But have you ever wondered how neon signs work? Neon signs obviously wouldn't exist without neon. Neon was discovered in 1898 by British scientist William Ramsey. Ramsey's work on neon and other noble gases earned him the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1904. The word neon comes from the Greek word neos, which means new. Neon is one of the noble gases. One characteristic of these noble gases is that each atom has a filled electron shell, so the atoms don't react with other atoms and it takes a lot of energy to remove an electron from them. Fun fact, the very first neon sign to be used for advertising in the United States was for Packard car dealership in 1923. Two giant signs reading Packard were purchased for $2,500, wow! Neon lights consist of a glass tube filled with a small amount of neon gas. At either end of the tube, there is an electrode, a negative terminal, and a positive terminal. When an electric voltage is applied to the terminals, the neon atoms are pulled apart. Neon atoms lose an outer electron and become positively charged ions. The positively charged neon ions are now attracted to the negative terminal. The electrons removed from the neon atoms are attracted to the positive terminal. These charged particles called plasma complete the electric circuit of the neon light. So where does the light come from? Well, as the neon atoms, neon cations and electrons bounce around the tube. They collide with each other, increasing in energy. When they absorb the energy and they become excited, in their excited state, they're also very unstable. So they rapidly give out the energy that they absorbed to get themselves back to normal again. They release that energy as photons, particles of light. And this is what we see, a colored glow. The color of the light that is produced really depends on how far apart the excited energy is from the original energy. Each excited electron of an atom releases a characteristic wavelength of photons. Therefore, each excited noble gas releases a characteristic color of light. For neon, this is a reddish-orange light. But then again, hey, we see lots of different colors of neon signs. So how does that work? Well, one way is to use another gas or a mixture of gases to produce different colors. For example, Helium glows pink, neon glows reddish orange, argon glows light blue or light purple, krypton glows white, and xenon glows lavender blue. Radon will also give a reddish glow but it is not used because it is radioactive and will not retain its structure as radon for a very long time. So what if the gases are mixed? Well, you guessed it right. Intermediate colors can be produced. So, to make purple tubes, you can use argon and xenon together. The other way to produce colors is to coat the glass with a phosphor or other chemicals that will glow a certain color when they are energized. So, you can use a blue phosphor painted on the red neon tube to make pink light, or a green phosphor with red neon to make orange light. Aside from light, you also get quite a lot of energy given off as heat. If you've ever stood near a neon light, you'll know they can be very hot. That's because the atoms are giving off quite a bit of invisible infrared radiation, in other words, heat. Finally, cutting off the electricity supply to the neon sign returns the neon atoms to their original normal inert state. Fun fact. The average lifespan of a standard neon sign is approximately 10,000 hours. However, in 2012, during a renovation of a restaurant, a neon light panel was found still on after running for approximately 77 years. Wow, that's amazing! Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching!